Poland's plan to revamp its military command structure to help the NATO member handle the alliance's new regional defense plans and host of a hybrid threats, including those from neighboring Belarus, a senior official has said. President Andrzej Duda announced plans to create a Joint Armed Forces Command on August 14, the day before Poland displayed its growing military might with a huge parade to mark Armed Forces Day. Bringing the leadership of the various branches of the armed forces together would make it easier to coordinate with the NATO troops on the alliance's eastern border, the head of Poland's National Bureau of Security told Reuters. As the host of eastern flank, we will be able to incorporate NATO troops, give them support with an appropriately organized command structure, Jacek Siewiera said in an interview. Siewiera also said the new structure would help the nation effectively use massive equipment purchases the law and justice government has implemented in response to Russia's war in Ukraine. In recent weeks, Poland has announced plans to move thousands of troops to its border with Belarus, amid concern over the arrival there of hundreds of battle-hardened Wagner mercenaries at the invitation of President Alexander Lukashenko. Adapting to threats and risks we are facing from the territory of Belarus is important, Shevera said. According to him, one concern would be increasing illegal attempts to cross the border by migrants. In 2021, Poland faced a massive wave of irregular migration from the east, which it blamed on Minsk, saying Lukashenko was bringing people from the Middle East and Africa to pressure the European Union. Shevera said there has been some increasing attempts to cross the border in recent weeks. We are aware that this migration wave, artificially promoted by Belarus, could be intentionally fanned, he said. 